Welcome to Kotech, an advanced situational awareness tool that helps first responders communicate and coordinate effectively in the field. In this tutorial, we will walk you through installation and setup of the iOS Team Awareness Kit, or ITAC for short. Let's begin by installing the application on your device. Scan the QR code displayed on screen or navigate to the App Store and search for iTAC. Download and open the application. Upon opening the application, you will be prompted by a page labeled Setup iTAC. Click on Get Started. You will be taken to Profile Settings. Here, you will enter your call sign. We suggest keeping your call sign concise while displaying the most important identifying information, bearing in mind that during mutual aid situations, you may be working with other agencies from across the state using COTEC. We recommend using the call sign convention, agency acronym, last name, and or radio call sign. You will also be asked to provide your phone number. This function allows you to communicate with other COTEC users even if you do not have their phone number. Once complete, select Next. On this page, you will select your team and role. Utilize this table to choose your team color. Now, select your role based on the table provided. If in doubt, select the Team Member option. Allow iTAC to send you notifications. Later, we will show you how to manage these notification settings. Next, make sure both sliders for notifications and location services are enabled. Select Allow While Using Application. Periodically, the app will ask if you still want iTAC to use your location. You must give it permission even though it is not actually used all of the time. Next, click Start iTAC and click on the gear wheel in the upper right corner. Select Notifications and the gray gear wheel in the upper right. To avoid needless alerts, we recommend adjusting your preferences to only include messages, shapes, and overlays. To change your base map, click on the gear wheel and click on Map Source. You'll be able to select from three Apple-provided maps, Standard, Satellite, and Hybrid options. Many users prefer to use Hybrid. In another video, we will discuss how to load custom map sources and download these for offline use in poor data coverage areas. You must connect to a TAC server in order to share and see others' locations. To do this, navigate to Settings, click on Network, select Servers, then tap on the plus sign in the bottom right-hand corner. The simplest way to connect to the server is using the QR function. Allow access to your camera and scan the QR code on screen. Once scanned, you will be prompted to enter your username and password that was used for kotac.gov. If you are unable to scan the QR code, navigate to Servers. Click the plus button and select Connect with Credentials. For name, type kotac. In the address field, add ops.kotac.gov. For port, enter 8089. These are common settings that instruct the app where to send and look for location data to be displayed as dots on your map. Finally, scroll down and enter your username and password. If you receive an error message, verify your password is correct, or if forgotten, go to kotac.gov to reset it. Following entry of your credentials, give it just a moment, then verify you are connected by backing out to the main map screen and look for a green connected in the lower right corner. It is important to select the channels with which you'd like to view and share location information. This is found within the TAC channels button, normally found at the far right of the bottom menu. You may have to swipe from right to left to see this button. Tap on TAC channels, then the Kotac server. You will see a list of the channels that are available to your Kotac account. Tapping on the channel turns it on, which shares your location with all other users on that same channel and enables you to interact with the users. 
turning a channel off removes your location and presence from that channel. Each Kotak first responder sees a unique list of channels based on your login. Some of these channels were created by your agency administrator and are only available to members of your public safety organization, while other channels are available to multiple agencies for use in mutual aid. The Kotak team recommends only turning on mutual aid channels when a need for them arises, but refer to your own agency's policies for definitive guidance. Finally, let's adjust the layer settings. Return to the settings page and select layers. Alternatively, you can select the layers button on the bottom menu. Scroll down and turn on show other teams, always show map scale, and remove stale markers. We recommend leaving all other toggle settings off as these extra options are infrequently helpful to most users, but feel free to use what is best for you. This concludes the Getting Started tutorial for ITAC, powered by the Colorado Department of Public Safety and the Center of Excellence for Advanced Technology Aerial Firefighting. To learn more, visit us at kotac.gov.